Djokovic, or Supernova, or Noel as he is popularly nicknamed, is a 20-time Grand Slam champion and one of the most controversial sportsmen in the world. Djokovic, as you'd have guessed already, is a multi-millionaire in whatever currency you'd want to evaluate him from, and he lives very lavishly. But if I had a net worth that is over $200 million like Novak does, I would probably live even more luxuriously. And to confirm his lavish lifestyle, I've broken down some of the major things he spends his money on. Houses Starting with his houses. Yeah, I said houses, because there are quite a number of them. Look folks, Djokovic is freaky with houses. He adores big homes, and he doesn't mind having them in different places or parts of the world. He might even retire tomorrow, go into the real estate business full time, and still make tons of cash off of selling his properties. Djokovic has a number of extravagant houses to his name, and had last year sold one of his condos in 2021, which he had purchased in 2017. The three-bedroom spacious apartment was a part of the luxury development in 87 Park in Miami, Florida, which cost over $5 million at the time. The house is located on the 25th floor and offers a panoramic view of the Atlantic Ocean, bay, park, and city. And it is equipped with floor-to-ceiling windows, two private swimming pools, underground spa, sauna, steam room, and many more. But Novak never lived in it, and fast forward almost four years later, the house had been sold at a whopping $6 million. But America wasn't left out yet from Djokovic's money in real estate, as he still has two apartments in 565-room Soho in New York City, which reportedly cost him over $10 million. Yes, you heard that right. The apartments sit on the same floor and include many comfortable amenities such as the lounge, library, gym, pool, terraces, a media room, etc. And away from America, his homes also find grounds in tax-friendly places like Monte Carlo, Monaco. And when he feels like going back home to Serbia, which he likes doing in the summer with his family, he has a penthouse for a home waiting for him in style in New Belgrade. Commenting on the house, Supernova had said the house provided the perfect lifestyle for him and his family. A family consisting of himself, his wife Yelena, and their two children Stefan and Tara. Then finally there is his Marabella home in Spain, which is a nine-bedroom mansion he obtained for over $10 million. He had rented this apartment during the lockdown period in 2020, and himself and Yelena had posted pictures of themselves, dancing, playing tennis, and doing yoga. The home boasts of a sauna, a gym, a cinema room, a tennis court, a guest house, swimming pool, and an amazing view of a mountain and a sea. So wherever Novak looks, home is everywhere. Nevertheless, let's see if his cars share the same omnipresent potential as his houses. Cars the Serbian tennis superstar is a proud brand ambassador of Peugeot, and this offers him the luxury of his own Peugeot limited edition known as the E208, which is an electric car that was gifted to him after he won the Australian Open in 2020. But of course, this is not his only Peugeot ride. He also owns a Peugeot RCZ. However, Noel is not entirely a sticker for Peugeot models alone, as he also has a Mercedes-Benz S500 his $200,000 Bentley Continental GT, an Aston Martin DB9, and an Audi R8. But when a tournament is just right around the yard, he can save his automobile and just drives his bike to the occasion instead, just like he did in the Monte Carlo Masters. And when it comes to time, Super Novak doesn't play with that either. Watches As far as watches go, you bet Super Novak also has a super collection of various brands. After parting ways with the watch brand Seiko, Novak signed with the reputable Hublot, joining Hall of Famers in the Hublot brand such as Kylian Mbappe, Usain Bolt, Pelé, and the late Kobe Bryant. In the Rolex Paris Masters, he wore one of the brand's models, the Big Bang Mecca 10 Blue Ceramic, which is worth over $20,000. Noel commented on the partnership between himself and Hublot in 2021 in an interview with GQ, saying, I am very excited to join a brand that appreciates sports and athletics and supports our profession and invests in us, athletes. And guys, the partnership is so open, they are allowing Djokovic to design his watch. That's just cool, folks. And as Djokovic has testified, I like that it helps me feel young. Awesome. Now, how about some business and endorsements he has? Business and endorsements. On the court, Djokovic has made nearly $150 million from all his winnings, but he usually makes more money when he isn't hitting that green ball and smacking opponents' butts. 
For example, halfway through the year 2019, Forbes reported that out of the over $50 million he had made that year, $40 million were accumulated from endorsements alone. But aside from his sponsorship or endorsement deals and his court earnings, Djokovic is an entrepreneur that has authored a nutrition and lifestyle book that he published in 2013, which he called Serving to Win, the 14-day gluten-free for physical and mental excellence. This book was about the diet, as he declared, that saved his life. And he didn't stop there. Noel doesn't play with his diet and doesn't want you to play with yours either. So he created his nutrition food line called the Joko Life. This project focuses on helping both athletes and other humans access high quality nutrition and lifestyle insights based on those of the Serbian champ as created by a team of experts and nutritionists. So what are you waiting for guys? Join the Joko Life train. And just in case you find yourself in New Belgrade or Kopanek and you feel a rumble in your tummy caused by hunger, don't fret because Novak has got you covered too, with his chain of restaurants located in his home country. However, his entrepreneurial eye is not only set on nutrition and food alone, but also on event planning and even movie production. Djokovic and his family co-own Family Sports, a company that bought the Deutsche Open and changed its name to the Serbia Open until it was brought back by the ATP. But more recently, it was reported that he and his wife Yelena invested 80% in a biotech firm known as QuantBioRes, which claims to be working on a treatment rather than a vaccine. People might see him as insensitive or selfish, but he doesn't appear that way with involvement such as QuantBioRes, or even his more philanthropic dealings so far, which we will look at next. Charity and Philanthropy In 2020, when the world was still heavily plagued by the and most people anxious in their homes, the world number one tennis champion was one of the first celebrities in the world to donate to the course against fighting the virus. Through his wife-managed charity foundation, his native country Serbia enjoyed a donation of over $5 million, which was received by the Serbian public health system, people in need of financial support, and charities run by the Serbian Orthodox churches. And as if that was not enough, because clearly it wasn't, Novak also contributed to the humanitarian course set up by his arch-rival, Rafa Nadal who at the time was trying to get $11 million for the COVID-19 reliefs. Rafa confirmed Novak's contribution in a tweet, saying, A huge thanks to Novak Djokovic for the contribution to the hashtag Nuestra Mejor Victoria campaign, helping those in need in the fight against coronavirus. Nevertheless, the pandemic is not the only thing that has brought out the philanthropic part of the tennis maestro. After winning the Italian Open in 2014, he donated his prize money of $750,000 to relief efforts for a flood in Serbia. The Novak Djokovic Foundation, founded in 2007, aims to help thousands of children get into preschool and access the best education. And so far, it has helped over 47,000 children built 47 schools, helped 7,600 parents, and trained 2,200 teachers. What other things does he do with his money? He does all of this and more, and he still has more than enough money to spend. For someone who is very spiritual and orthodox, he no doubt enjoys a lot of luxuries, like traveling and showing up to games in a helicopter, and he even owns a private jet too. It is reported that he clocks in 200 hours of airtime in his private plane every year, enabling him to enjoy his own fair share of travel with Yelena, and he doesn't shy away from posting on the internet about it. And if he isn't traveling, he just enjoys time with his family and kids in any of his luxurious homes. But in the court, he can indulge in pre-game rituals such as meditation and conscious breathing techniques. But one of my favorite rituals by him is his weird tendency to eat grass after winning a Wimbledon. And when asked about it, he said, When I was younger, I always dreamt of winning Wimbledon, and I wanted to do something different. And I didn't come up with a more original idea, so I thought I might as well just eat some grass. 